What's up everybody, this is Equalo. I have got a real doozy today. So you know what this is. You've seen this before. This is a Nintendo Entertainment System. The original. The Don Corleone of gaming systems. Now this one in particular is an interesting case because I've actually had it for a little while. And I originally found it sitting in an alleyway. Someone had just thrown it out in perfect condition. So I hung on to it as sort of a novelty piece. It didn't have a power cable or controllers or anything, so I didn't really have any use for it until recently I decided what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to build it into a gaming PC. Now I know what you're thinking. WTF, this won't work. You'll never fit an NVIDIA Titan V in such a tight form factor. So it can be done. In fact, it has been done. There have been a number of other NES PC builds over the years that I've seen that have sort of inspired me to try this, but no one seems to have done this in over five years, I think. So I wanted to try this out in the modern era. How far can we push this in 2020? Well, there are a number of compromises and problems I'll need to address. First, I need to decide what I even want out of this. Personally, my goal for this is I want a fully functional gaming PC that's able to play most AAA titles at 1080p and then maybe some at 1440p if I can, but I want to keep the exterior of the case as close as possible to the original. Nice. So I'll need a decently powerful CPU and then a dedicated GPU. For the processor, I settled on an AMD Ryzen 2600 and then for the GPU, I'm going for either a GTX 1650 Super or a 1660 Super. The GPU is really going to depend on the power supply. I'd love to go for the 1660 Super if possible, but the power supply could really pose a problem. An ATX power supply just won't fit inside of an NES. There's just no way to make that happen. And I really don't want to have an external power supply sitting on the desk next to the build. So I started looking around. The majority of smaller form factor power supplies don't have the ability to push to the eight pin power plugs that the 1660 Super uses. So it took some searching, but eventually I found the HDplex 400 watt Nano ATX PSU. It's a fanless low form factor power supply that actually relies on an external AC to DC converter, AKA a laptop brick. Honestly, there's just no other way to do this. So at this point, I opened up the console, made some measurements. With internal space, I have around three inches vertically, and that's not including the cross guard. So if I only build down to the cross guard, it's only about two and a half inches of space. But I want to leave the exterior as close as possible to the original, so I really don't want to have to cut out that cross guard. I might end up having to though. For length and width measurements, I'm working with 10 inches and seven and a half inches. Those measurements don't include the pillars to screw the case together. So this doesn't leave me a lot of space. A mini ITX motherboard will just barely fit in here, but I think I can make this work. So what do you think? Leave a comment, say if you think I can pull this off or not. Um, let me know any suggestions you have. If you wanna see more of these, Give it a like, send a comment, and subscribe to the channel. See you all next time.